Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Star Tropics. So, with everyone in this village we'll talk to, it's time to leave and head towards Shikola Castle. Even though we're told they're probably not going to be friendly toward us. Gee, with a name like that, I wonder what trope we were going for here. So let's see, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we can't do much else around here except go straight to the dungeon. And I actually did practice this dungeon this time, so I'm not going in this as blind as usual. Hopefully that means I can clear it without dying too much, because I need at least four hearts for the last boss of this dungeon. Yeah, these are annoying, but not hard to deal with. As long as you jump just after you start moving. To lure the snakes in. Now the next area. Freaking skull ostriches here. Come on. Both of you, go away. Get a lead on him. There. That's about the only way I've found you can deal with them. And... Now you may think this room is going to be very, very difficult to traverse. Because it's dark and we're on narrow passageways filled with water. We're just surrounded by water. But let's take a look here. If you saw it when, you came, when we first came in, this room had a long platform here. So basically, what we can do is lure the snakes over to find out which one is actually somewhat close to us. And it would be him. Let's take care of the rest of these snakes, shall we? just because they're going to get in the way if we don't. And now, this little octopus here will only hop on the platforms he's near. He won't come over here, but he does show us where we can hop. And let there be light. Little secret area down here we're going to get something we will probably desperately need. Medicine. Whenever I start to get low on hit points, I can use that and heal up, just in case you forgot what medicine does. So, now we are in the supremely annoying area. We don't have to fight these things. We just have to ignore we just have to avoid them. Unlike that. That was not good that was not good avoidance. Thankfully, if I don't mess up this timing, we'll get that heart back. There we go. And we enter the second half of the dungeon at full hit points. Much better than I expected to do, really. Because my test runs have not been this kind to me. And despite what the music sounds like, we're not about to hit a boss yet. Pause. That little sign up there, if you don't know, is a gamble with Mikey's lives. Literally, you pick that up and it'll give you either one or two lives or take away one or two lives, depending on how it feels. And it's completely random. You will never get the same number twice. So if I were to make a save state here and get that sign, then reload and get that sign, it would come up as two different values. At least it did when I tried that out. 
But I will be getting it anyway, because why not? But I paused because I wanted to explain that sign without having to dodge the fireballs that that these uh, they're going to spit out from those volcanoes there. And we get two. So lucky for us. Yep. So now we have a bunch of lives, which really isn't going to help much. Let's just grab the stopwatch, because we have to kill these. And I would really rather do it while they were frozen. But yeah, it will not do as much good if I lose my life, if I lose, you know, my life now, because this boss coming up ahead, I am not skilled enough to beat this boss in, you know, under so much time. Funny thing that you can jump right over those things' heads without... And you don't want to go up the left side, because you see the left side. Just to explain there, you get those little magma things that were popping up. Yeah, you can jump right over those. Don't take any damage. Since really you don't take any damage while jumping, and even though you make contact, etc, etc, etc. Plus, you notice that you had two paths to come up here. Help you see where the left path leads you. Death. They even mark it with skulls. So anyway, none of the panels here actually trigger anything that I could find. Just have to be quick. And good, I'm here with six hearts and medicine. And weapons. Although, the weapons do nothing. You can attack the boss there all you want. Can't hurt him cannot hurt the boss. The boss is just a big pillar of fire. What we need to do is find the two switches here, trigger them to drop those bolts out from either side of the boss. So anyway, now that I'm not, now that I'm not, you know, having to explain that while dodging fireballs. Ah. one, and the other one, as you can probably guess, the trigger to make the switch pop up is right next to the boss. <sighs> nope, don't need to use it, because it's over. But yeah, with... With full hearts, I can pretty much just Rambo charge that whole thing to get through. If I have four hearts or less, then I'm hurting. Because I am terrible at fighting that boss, even though there's not much fighting to be done there. But yeah, that was a relatively non-painful run through that dungeon. Even got some extra lives, which are going to go away now. don't die here. That would be embarrassing. You did it! So, here we are. First, let's do something about this low heart count here. Very nice. Now before we continue on, there's Shikola. Let's go stop in and see if they really can't help us repair the sub. It would be nice if they could. Hello? Bikini-clad Amazon warrioress. She-guard of Shikola, get out of here. Yeah, they're not going to let us in. Presumably because we are male. Seek help in the fortune teller's camp. Well, lucky for us, the fortune teller isn't that far away. 
you were sp you were originally supposed to explore and such, I would imagine. However, they do not prevent you from going around the outside of this castle. And we can exit there if we really, really want to. And there's a pretty good chance we might actually want to later, but not just yet. A fortune teller that can't help us. Because dropped crystal ball into a pond at the ghost village. We have no knowledge of where this ghost village is. I mean, you could help us out, but we're kind of new to the area. You know, it's just one of those things that you, you could help. Really, I, you know, you could. But, um, no? Really? I mean, no? Really? Just that's as far as we go? Okay, I guess. It's just... You know, you could have been a little more helpful there. You want your crystal ball back, you could tell us where we need to go. No? No? You're you're just gonna sit there and... No. Okay! So... If we got help from the fortune teller, we could probably talk to the peep To the... Amazons there. The Sheikolians. So let's see what's over here. A dungeon. Is this ghost village? Somehow I don't think this is ghost village. That's because I know where ghost village really is, but yes. You can get sidetracked and go in here. And I don't know why. I don't know why they would allow you access to this little area yet. Because you have no reason to go there yet. Where you need to go is up here. Yes, this is Ghost Village. And there's a lake here. Graves that you can't interact with. Yep, these all look normal. Well, normal for being on fairly rotten ground or something like that. Hmm, yeah, these all look perfectly normal and identical. Don't see anything else out of place except for this one. is yeah, this is where we are supposed to go next. And we get the same semi-cheerful dungeon music we always get. However, I think I will save this dungeon for next time. Why? Because I kinda need to practice it just a little bit. And if I recall correctly, this one has about six false exits that you can get to pretty easily that will all take you back outside and make the game laugh at you. So anyway, yeah, sadly, we are back to the three lives, but we do keep the seven hearts. We're gonna need all of them and several potions, probably. Unfortunately, I don't think we get very many potions in this dungeon. But anyway, take care, folks. I will see you back next time as we explore... Well, let's just call it Ghost Tunnel. Because I got no better name for it. Later, all.